to all of my Leos, Leos, we are in the full moon phase. That's right, that's right, that's right. You saw from the last video that you can already go ahead and start doing your full moon rituals. You can continue doing your full moon rituals. There's tons of tips on how to do your full moon rituals online, right? Full moon is a time of protection, healing. That's a time for you to really protect your energy because... Things are being revealed to you, like down through your downloads through your dreams, daydreams, night dreams, premonitions. You're super sensitive during that time. Um, this cycle is all about blooming and blossoming. You know, Pluto is currently retrograde. It's the only planet that's currently retrograde, and Pluto is the death rebirth planet. It's the planet of metamorphosis. It's the planet of power transformation, but it's also the planet of obsessions. So. This is the planet of, um, if Pluto is the planet of, if there are people who from your past are obsessed with you, if it wasn't clear before, it's going to be clear now. Um, this is also the year of wealth. And so if there have been any kind of obsessions around anything, wealth or love or um, unhealthy relationships with people, places or things, whatever, all of that is being revealed, right? And so Pluto is going to be retrograde until um, October, almost the mid part of October. I want to say like October 11th, around October 11th. Um, and so, yeah, so you want to allow the, these moon phases to allow through the waxing and waning to help you to uh, really connect with your emotions, your feelings, your subconscious habits, your moods, and all of those things. I know that we had a giveaway in the last... Uh, we had a we have a we had a giveaway in the last reading. The book that we did was from Pain to Purpose, um, Miss Velasquez's book. Uh, we we feature those books have been all you know claimed. They've been mailed out, and so congratulations to the winner. For those of you all who are still texting me saying you want to you know get a copy of the book, we did list on the community page where you can support you know Miss Velasquez in the book. She's an actress. And um, just uh, the book, I think, is, is very relatable. I mean, she talks about, like, the conversation. She starts out with talking about her inner child, you know, having a conversation with her inner child. Um, and I don't want to give too much of it away, but I think it's relatable for everybody across the board, you know, just kind of um, just making some peace with some things. Just kind of, you know, she, she really talks about, you know, just her journey. Um, like I said, the title, From Pain to Purpose, which I think everybody can relate to. And I think it's... Um, you know, perfect for just blossoming and blooming. But I, and I, like I said, thank you to those of you all who reached out to me for that. But if you want to support, I did list all of her information on my community page. She's on Instagram. She has a website. You can reach out to their, her there. But we're going to go ahead and get into your reading. Let's get right into your reading. Like I said before, the moon is currently in Scorpio, right? The interesting thing about when the moon is in Scorpio, while Pluto is retrograde, because Scorpio is while well, Pluto is one of Scorpio's ruling planets, is that when Sco when Scorpio is is retrograde, when Pluto is not, when when Scorpio, excuse me, when Scorpio, when the moon is in Scorpio, when Pluto is not retrograde, it's a super sensitive time. But when Pluto is retrograde, like triple that. <laughs> you know, super sensitive because Pluto is the death rebirth planet. So it's like, okay, having to experience, um, you know, a, a metamorphosis and like, you know, like a slow down so you can really experience it's like, it's moving like in slow motion, like you almost kind of, so, and so it gives that illusion, even though planets don't move backwards and it does, they don't move at a slower pace. It gives that illusion. It gives you an opportunity to kind of sort of like really slow down and see like, man, okay, those were some really unhealthy, wounded, you know, situations, you know, from your past and like, okay, you never want to go through those things again. So a modern day ritual besides, you know, just like the normal full day uh, rituals that you would normally do during full moon phase, some of the things you can do during um, the moon phase in Scorpio is to write down you know, anything that you may have been ashamed of or embarrassed or, you know, from your past. Like sometimes people will be ashamed or embarrassed of where they grew up, you know, and just kind of like, like I said, where you grew up, you know, maybe 
sometimes you don't know you were poor until other people point it out. Like, oh, you grew up in that neighborhood or, you know, you, you didn't have such and such. You know, those are some things. Or like, you moved around a lot when you were younger or, you know, you may have been married a couple of times or, you know, or, you know, your, your kids are such and such or you were married to who or, you know, things that you may have looked back and you were maybe ashamed or embarrassed of, you know, when whatever, you know, or you had a nervous breakdown, you know, I'm just kind of like throwing some things out there to help some people to understand you don't have anything to be really ashamed or embarrassed of. But if you've been holding on to something because other people have shamed you or tried to make you feel embarrassed about some things, those are some things that you want to say, okay, I need to put a list together and I need to start releasing those so I can make room for my blessings to come in. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Hopefully that helps. You've already prayed over your cards, Leo. So let's do it. King of Cups, here we have the Four of Cups, here we have the Eight of Cups, here we have the Justice card, here we also have the Strength card, and then we also have the Star card, right? Here we have the King of Cups. So I definitely see somebody feeling a lot better about, you know, just you're on your throne, having a whole lot of compassion for some things. Here we have the Four of Cups while you're sitting around kind of waiting on some things. Here we have the Eight of Cups tossing some things into a burning bowl, some frustration, some anger, some aggression, you know, whatever it is that causes you to be on a dark side of fire, like calling people a narcissist or, you know, burnout or confusion or whatever situations may be. Here we have the justice card. Remember when the moon was in Libra? Libra is all Libra is ruled by a peacemaker planet. Like somebody's look trying to be at peace with themselves about some things, learning how to heal yourselves, right? And making sure that you are have you know, not on the dark side of the strength card, which is inability to control your passion. You know, somebody's like, I'm so passionate about something. I'm so angry. I could just be reactive, right? Acting like a wild lion, right? Um, and then you see the half human, half lion. And you see this, like this energy that's meek, right? And then also like, um, you know, being hopeful, blissful, and, you know, optimistic, you know, moving forward, right? So you're not letting anything hold you down, like any negativity, any toxicity or anything hold you down, any negativity, any whatever hold you back, hold you down. So I definitely feel like your star is shining bright um, and just keeping your vibrations high as you possibly can. So let your star shine bright. There's more than one star in the sky. And I definitely feel like you're learning how to remove all fear, doubt, you know, those kind of things. If you feel like you had any negative emotions. See, remember, water is shaped and guided by the earth that holds and surrounds it, right? So you think about a lake, river, stream, pond, even your bathtub, a cup of water is shaped and, and guided by whatever holds it, right, and surrounds it, right? So... You want to make sure you protect your emotions. So if you're around a bunch of toxicity, a bunch of gossiping energies, a bunch of people that, you know, get you hot head, you know, hot headed and, and frustrated and just a bunch of negativity, then guess what that's going to do is contaminating your water, right? But when you're around energies that are where you feel like your spirit is being fed and they're kind of helping you to calm your waters, that's why I always talk about pulling your birth chart you know, um, you know, finding out what your moon sign is, right? And then going straight to Google and just typing in how to nurture moon in whatever your moon sign is for man, woman, or however you identify. And then following those steps, very short steps, you know, it's just take just putting the work in. And just how, how do I get my divine feminine energy, right? We all embody divine masculine and divine feminine energy, which makes us whole, right? This is that divinity within us that connects us all, right? So just how do you get in that? How do you get into that, right? That wholeness within you um, and embrace all of that, that balance, right? And so that's what Source is trying to help somebody to do because when you're connected to people who... It's just like on the dark side of the number four, it's my way or the highway. You know, when you connect with that kind of energy, it's my way or the highway. You don't really leave any wiggle room for growth, for anything, right? Nothing to grow, any seeds to grow, or it's just, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm so rigid and I'm so mad and I'm so burned and I'm around all of this negativity. And so Source is saying, you don't leave any room for anything to grow, you know, any seeds to grow, any, you know, uprooting of anything, planting some new seeds for beautiful relationships to grow. You know, um, and so that's what somebody is learning how to do. Uh, 
putting all of this, any kind of resentment or whatever behind you, tossing that into a burning bowl and stepping into this right here. Both of this symbolizes fire, right? So this is sun and you're, you're actually ruled by the sun. So you're doing some kind of sun bathing, sun cleansing, right? So you're doing some kind of sun. So essentially you're doing like a double cleansing, right? So you're out, well, more than that, you're four times. Like, so you're doing grounding. That's a form of cleansing right here. You see this person on the beach, they're doing some kind of grounding, this is the cleansing right here by fire. Obviously, the person is out in the air because this fire wouldn't be, you could obviously, it couldn't live without air, right? You couldn't live without air. Um, and then also, this is also fire right here. Um, and then um, water, obviously, right? So water, also some the living water within you, finding out what your moon sign is and listening to water sounds, being near water, all those things, drinking water, doing juice fast, those kind of things, right? Here we also have the King of Cups. So Source is definitely putting you around some energies that's going to help you to move forward. Um, yeah, it's going to help you to move forward. Yeah, with some things, right? So here we have the King of Cups came out twice here. We also have the Four of Wands here. Um, somebody's going to just feel like there's certain things are just no longer your responsibility. It's just uh, no longer your responsibility. Here we have the three of wands. And so um, I see somebody learning how to not only increase your prayer life, but also your meditation life, you know, as well. Here we have the four, three of swords right here. Swords is trying to teach you how to, you know, um, just move away from just kind of that mind of just, feeling like, you know, people are always holding on to secrets or like, cause this right here would say like a person, either people think that you are deceptive or you think that they're deceptive when there can be conversations opening up, you know, having more conversations about things instead of assuming, you know, certain things, you know, especially if, um, there is some kind of, you know, like, a, you know, you kind of learning how to just wake up from some nightmares. Like I feel like somebody is just like just waking, awakening from some kind of nightmares. That's going on here, right? Hmm. Let me see something here. Remember, take only what resonates with you. Take only what resonates with you. Because there's a lot going on looking at the readings here. Because again, when you know that your star is shining bright and you know, like, you know, you, you walk, you're leaving from behind a past. You're leaving behind a past. Here we have lovers, you know. And so your light is starting to shine bright. You may have had, you know, some lovers in the past that are trying to resurface and they're trying to say some things about you. You could have had some business partnerships or some love relationships in the past that they're trying to resurface, you know, and it's two energies in particular that's trying to, you know, that you could feel like somebody is trying to pull out some stuff from the, you know, source of saying it's time to toss some things into a burning bowl. And it could have been like a, like I said, a nightmare for you. Um, but again, for you, I feel like the, the four of swords as you move forward towards a new and exuberant love, if you're not already in a situation already um, with your person, and then things are starting to go very well for you. I see you taking a leap of faith, but not a leap of fear, right? And no longer doing an injustice to yourself. You, The, the truth of the matter is, is that there will be people that once your light starts to shine bright, and this will also give you some compassion towards other people where you may have felt like yourself that may have that you may have thought did you wrong in the past it'll also give you a um you know through a new lens and how if other people have accused you of being obsessively you know um going after them for something and somebody's obsessively coming after you and you just like wait a minute like wait a second right like a source is like showing you through the lens, showing you through a different lens. It's just like how people obsessively come after people, right? Just that obsession. Like I said, Pluto being retrograde is show you both sides of that. And because I feel like, you know, you're, it's showing a lot of people compassion towards how other people see people that are being pursued, right? So I do see... I do see um, you taking a leap of faith. It's two situations in particular. Um, how you are just looking at things through a different lens. Sources showing you how other people are being stalked and pursued. And then also how you've been stalked and pursued. And so giving you an opportunity to toss some things into a burning bowl. And allowing your star to shine bright. But also... Um, 
praying for other people who are been, you know, obsessed with other people, you know, as well, who may be going through a nightmare too. Here we have the Knight of Cups. And since you're learning how to save yourselves, there's a lot of people who hold on to resentment. They can't move beyond things. I got to get them back. I got to, they so deceptive. They deceived me. I just got to get them. They, I got to, I just, I, I can't rest until I get them back and, and so on and so forth until the very thing happens to them. Right. And you're like, well, wait a minute. What this person, something's wrong with this person. What in the world? And they don't have all the facts. They don't have all the, they just, they're just a, they're just a, you know, going in for some kind of attack. And you don't even know what, what is all of that coming from? So here we have the five of cups here. So I definitely feel like somebody has been lamenting over something. Here we have, um, so there's two sides to all of this. Let me look at the, um, so we have the seven of cups here. So there's a lot of temptation to vibrate on a lower frequency. When you feel like somebody has gotten away with something and somebody feels like you've gotten away with something, there's the there's the the devil in the middle, like you know, whispering in your ear, whispering in somebody else's ear, oh, they got away with this, oh, they got away with this, somebody got away with something, right? But again, source is source is saying, okay, the divinity right there in the middle is just praying for the whole situation. You know, just making peace with yourself within. Because Source is trying to bring in partnership in business and in love in your in your cards here. Some kind of a partnership. Like, let's come to some kind of an agreement, right? But you got to remove ego out of the way. Here we have, because something has been a nightmare. It's two sides of the sword. Here we have the um, Five of Cups. Yeah, Five of Cups. Seven of Cups here again, right? King of Cups three times. And we also have the Moon card. Yeah, so two situations in particular are going to become a part of the past. Here we have the Eight of Wands here. Um, the source is saying get away from, you know, get away from the harsh judgment of things. There's a total transformation that's happening. You know, a total transformation that's happening um looking like on it, for everybody. Like every whoever's connected to something is a total transformation. You have to decide if if for you being connected to something is so triggering, you just need to say I need to just cut it off for life. If that's what it is, or if a person says they don't want to have anything to do with you for life, or you don't want to have anything to do with them for life, whatever, be okay with your decision. Because what a moon in Scorpio brings out is just that undercurrent of just, it's almost volcanic. Like you just feel like, okay, it's so unhealthy and it's so wounding. It almost makes you feel like you just want, you just feel sick. Like you feel like you just been bit, you've been stung by a scorpion. So you can look up what that looks like a scorpion sting and just what your body goes through. Um, you know, just the, the stages that your body goes through after being stung by a scorpion. And that's it's something could feel like that for somebody. And so if somebody feels like, okay, they don't want to have anything to do with you, get the ego out of the way. If, they, if you don't feel if they if you feel like you don't want to have anything to do with them, then that's between them and their ego. Either way, be okay with it. You know, um, make peace with it. Everybody's not holding on to resentment. Some people really, it's just, it's just that triggering. It's just that traumatic. That's what word I was trying to use. It's just that tra something is just that traumatic for them. Everybody's not hating on everybody, but take your power back. Right here, take your power back. That's what source is trying to teach you. Is like take your power back. Mean like okay, be okay with it. It shouldn't. It should not. The dark side of the magician card would be confusion and a disorganized mind. I don't understand why people are still holding on to such and such. Source is saying, look, move on, take your power back. If somebody is saying to you, you know, if you feel like, if you feel like, uh, you know, um, win or lose, I don't, I don't, somebody is with a sword, whoever initiates the cutting off of something you know, or moving on from something, somebody's going to feel like somebody's ego, you have no control over that. Somebody's going to feel like, oh, if you prayed for something, let's say, I'm going to give somebody a scenario. Let's say, for instance, you just say, 
um, you say, you know, since this is, the, this is the year of eight and karmic ties are being broken, eight is also the karmic number. And you say, you know, source, thank you that all karmic ties in my life are being broken, right? And, and source starts removing people from your life. But those are people that they just stop talking to you. And you figure, I don't even know why they stopped talking to me, right? And then your ego is bruised. They don't tell you why they stopped talking to you, whatever. But you prayed. You said, source, remove all karmic ties from my life, right? But for them, they could have had a dream that, okay, this is you don't need to announce to Leo. It's over. Just move on from Leo. Or you could have had the dream and you could have woke up one day and say, okay, you know what? I'm not their friend anymore. I need to move on from this. I need to make room. We just saw when we, when we talk on the phone, the, it's almost like this, just like this uncomfortable silence when we're talking. I, there's just not a whole lot to talk about anymore. So, I mean, it's just kind of feel like it's, it's almost painful when the phone rings and I got to answer the phone and almost like I got to create something to talk about, right? It's not a big argument. Like source is trying to get people to, you know, not close out cycles where it has to be traumatic, where it has to be a blowtorch, you know, a battle or like a, you know, cutting down of words or some so much toxicity going on. Where it just feels like, you know, just years of toxicity where just like it has to be this like poisonous, you know, this kind of thing. So that's what I'm seeing here in your cars. It's like, you know, respect if somebody doesn't want to be bothered with you ever again or you don't want to be bothered with them ever again. Toss the resentment into a burning bowl. Toss it into the, the burning bowl. The aggression, the frustration, toss it into a burning bowl. Leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Because the more you talk about it, the more you put you keep you loop yourself into a nightmare. You call it talking to people about it because ego, oh, they don't want to talk to me anymore. They don't have anything to do with me anymore. They must be holding on to a grudge because, you know, such and such and such and such. You can assume what you want to, but you throw yourself into a nightmare and everybody that's connected to you into a nightmare. So, yeah, so that's what I'm seeing here. That's what I'm seeing here. Source is saying. I feel like somebody could be lamenting, maybe possibly still lamenting. Either you or somebody is lamenting over something. And uh, Source is trying to tell you to take a leap of faith. It's just not your responsibility um, to hold on to some things. Take the blindfolds off. Something that you prayed for is over. Something that you prayed for is over. Move on. Leave it in the past, La Luna. Moon card came out twice. Moon card came out twice. So, yeah. Then we have Princess of Pentacles here. Yeah, so major, some major changes have happened, you know, here, and there is no win or loss. Source is saying to you, there really is a powerful transformation that's happening within everybody here, and the one that you're believing in is Source. Some prayers have been answered here. The toxicity has to go. It has to go. So here we have the Princess of Pentacles in order for everybody to win. Uh, let's see. So Princess of Pentacles. So Source is trying to get you ready for a softer life. Wishes up so that your wishes can be fulfilled. Yeah, so all of this water here lets me know. So water connects us with feelings, emotions, your intuition, um, quality of relationships, friendships, those kind of things. Source is really just trying to clean house for everybody. Like So if you've been around a bunch of toxicity, a bunch of gossiping, low vibrating energies and those kind of things... And you've been holding on to things for years, including family members. like Because this right here, this is developed between the ages of um, 8 years old and 14 years old. So if you've been still connected to a toxic way of thinking because you're still connected to very toxic, you know, family values and this kind of thing about uh, whatever. You know, those people over there or that group of people or whoever. Source is saying, I'm cleaning all of that up. <laughs> All of that's getting flushed out. So, you know, you may find yourself like, you know, by yourself for a minute where you just feel like, okay, oh, you and your person. If you're with your person, obviously I'm not talking about you and your person. But you may find yourself just kind of like, okay, we starting from scratch. And Or if you're by yourself, okay, I feel like I'm by myself. I need to determine, you know, what where I am in my, my journey right now and, and it be the energy I desire to attract. So if I desire to attract people or energies and where I am on the frequency I am right now, then I'm going to have to release that, those, the fear and the doubt that my past is going to resurface and, oh my God, I knew when Leo was such and such and such and such. Yeah. So 
Yeah, but somebody's um somebody's past is trying to, you know, trying to resurface. Here we have the high priest and something about some kind of materialistic, like somebody basically like somebody would do anything for material, you know, things and but you have an innate spiritual understanding, you know, of things and why your past is trying to resurface. But remember everybody has a past. And these are these are um you know, some kind of organization somebody could have belonged to and just kind of, you know, you know, people are trying to bring things up from your past because that's they're stuck. It's hard for them to move past, you know, their mindset. And uh, you, you dealt with some highly manipulative energies in the past. And so I don't know if it's coming back to bite you because source is saying to you, you have to really believe you have to tap into your well of joy within like you have to tap into source you know, within you, but it's also helping you to see how, um, being connected to those types of energies, hmm, when it's your time to shine, how, what you may not have seen before, you're starting to see how being connected to those types of energies will hold you back if that makes any sense because some being connected to certain types of energies when they feel like okay it's not your time to shine until we say it's your time to shine and you're like but no sources i'm starting to believe that i have purpose i'm starting to believe in myself i want to create a different kind of life for me i want to marry this person you know i want to live this kind of life i want to such and such and such and such and I want to do something outside. I want to move my water. Remember, water is shaped and, and guided by the earth that holds and surrounds it. And you don't want to be around. Our physical body is our earth, right? So you don't want to be around our earth anymore. And we shaped and guided you. But we got some dirt on you. You, you follow what I'm saying, Leo? So we're going to use this dirt against you if you don't want, if you want taking your water somewhere else, you want to create a different life, this water creativity. You want to create a different life for yourself. We got some dirt on you. You're going to have to say, well, then you're going to have to come on with it because you're not operating in fear. you operating in faith. So y'all just going to have to do, do whatever, right? So... That's the that's the frequency that I feel like, you know, because you're trying to create, you know, like I said, you're just awakening from a nightmare. You're just awakening from a nightmare. And um, and while you're connected to certain energies, you may have created a nightmare in other people's lives. And if they if they're feeling like, you know, for them, they don't want to be connected to you no matter, you know, how much you could be like, man, I had no idea you know, because again, this person is just awakening from a nightmare. They had on blindfolds. They couldn't really see anything. They really could not see anything. Where is the, uh, there's a seven of swords here. So a person who walks into a room filled with people who are communicating, like conversations are already going on, and they come into a room and they quietly sit off to themselves quietly, may not know how they could give off sneaky vibes. They're not communicating with people. They just kind of sort of give off sneaky vibes. They're just like off to themselves, and they may not know how they're hurting other people. Just their energy gives off. I don't trust anybody in the room, and they don't may not give off I don't understand how people mis how misunderstand me. I don't know why people, you know, you just got to get to know me. They haven't said hello to anybody. They haven't said anything to anybody. This is kind of like almost like seven of um, swords kind of energy. Like this person seems deceptive. They kind of, they don't, they kind of give off sneaky vibes. What's up with them? They just like, you know, they a little bit too quiet. You know how, <laughs> you know how, well, I don't know. But you know how some people will say, yeah, they, they're a little bit too quiet. Like, what's up with them? What's going on with them? That kind of energy. Um... Yeah, I'm I I um I feel like when you when source is flushing out everything and putting you in different spaces, you're going to start looking back and start seeing things. 
I feel like somebody has been in such toxic environments looking at the cards here that when you're around fresh water and people are genuine, you know, they've genuinely giving you compliments and you're genuinely kind to you, you won't see it as being suspicious. You know, you won't see it as like, okay, you know, what are they up to? You know, why are they being so nice to me? Do they have some kind of secret agenda? You know, this kind of thing. Again, only take what uh, resonates with you. Only take what resonates with you. Somebody's trying to get ready for a softer life. Here we also have Ace of Wands. So you're coming through a long and arduous journey. And um, and so here we have the Ten of Swords. And just somebody is, um, and Source is saying, but you will get, you will get up from this. You know, Source is going to bring you through something very fast. So we have 888 here. 888 so somebody is coming through so we got the king of cups so uh three times and we have the eight of wands three times two so something is like you know bringing you to the king of cups fast you know and getting you away from like calming your fire down fast like i can need to get away from this quick fast in a hurry like i i need to you know show myself compassion somebody is somebody is racing towards not only showing yourself compassion but also showing others compassion of just like kind of the things as to why they got away from some things fast. You're starting to see some things. You're just starting to see things through a different lens because you want to create a different life for yourselves. Those of you all who have already created a different life for yourself is just like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember doing a reading for you all a while ago, Leo's, where I was saying like, there's a, when a new person comes into, in, a new inter, person enters the program. So you remember the movie, The Matrix, where um, Neo, uh, when they, repro when they was programming him and they, so he went from, you know, this one program and then he was in this room where there was like a white background right so um him and morpheus and he was like looking around and he was like yeah you don't your hair is different everything is different because i just i've just wrote a new program right so you're in a new program so when a new person enters this is a new person enter into a program and a new person enters into an organization a new person enters into your life a child a new baby you start to see things through a different lens, right? You start to see just the purity of things through their eyes. A new person enters into your company, to your organization. Sometimes you've gotten so used to the toxicity of the organization until a new person comes in and they see, you know, they see, excuse, they see through, they're seeing it through a different lens. They're like, okay, they're asking questions that other people are too afraid to ask. They asking things. It's like the movie The Firm, right? Remember uh, the character in the movie The Firm where the the guy, he starts seeing, he starts snooping around. He was like, I mean, obviously people were approaching him saying, you don't see this, you don't see that. So they were trying to approach him early on saying, do you know what uh, organization you working for? Do you know what they really into? We're trying to catch you early, right? So that's kind of what it is when 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 things happen and new energies are programmed into your life. They entered into your life. Um, so you're able to see things through a different lens. So I'm talking to you through dimensions because obviously we're in human form. So I hope you understand what I'm saying here. Source is trying to tell you that like in human form, be okay with energies that are saying, I saw something that, you know, just in spirit realm that was, was, it could be you that saw something that make you just said, it just made you so sick to your stomach that you never want to cross paths again. Or if somebody else saw something that never wants to cross paths with you again, be okay with it. That's what I'm saying here. That's how you take your power back. And that's how other people take, you know, their power back. Um, and so, and just be okay with it. You don't have to be indecisive about it. Somebody never stopped loving you. Um... But pray for people. Like I said before, pray for people. 
You have the gift of premonition. That's a forewarning. Your next love interest will make you happier. Pour more into yourselves. Somebody apologizes for hurting you. Um, first red flag, you want to start praying and meditating. So dance around the house as if no one is watching. You have the gift of clairsentience. You pick up on others' vibrations and their emotions. Um, open your vault door. It's time for you to step through your portal. But the truth of the matter is that you're already in it. You're already in your, your vault door. So create the change that you want. Uh, don't forget that rest is a form of self-care. There's a guy that apologizes for betraying you. And toss it into the burning bowl. You are who somebody prayed for. Somebody has to understand not to cast your pearls before swine, which means don't waste good things on people who don't appreciate them. I feel like some, like I said before, I feel like if you've seen some things that you cannot unsee and you feel like that's a life that you don't want to go back to, whatever it is, then don't, you know, then don't, um, but also understand that there are some energies that are just as obsessed as just as determined as you are to stay away from them. They are just as obsessed. Pluto is retrograde. It's pulling out obsession with a lot of energies, right? You starting, you're seeing that it's pulling out obsessed energies, and um, and so, but it's also showing you that if you've been obsessed with something as well, you know, and just um, kept um, pulling you back from just that type of energy if you've been obsessed with something. Um, an obsession is never healthy. It's a fixation on something. 55, I am evolving. So substantial changes in your future. Embrace the change and need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. 55. Last card, we'll go ahead and close this out. Last card and let's go ahead and close this out. Patience, I am here in this present moment. I have all that I need. I lack nothing. Time is relative. Right now is all that matters. I wait with excitement. All good things come in due time. All is working for my highest good. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.